Okay, welcome to my first tutorial. This is actually just making a simple slow motion effect where your character is able to move through the world at his exact same speed, his or her exact same speed, as the world around him slows down. So I'm just going to click play here and show you what I mean. So this is just the first person template. Uh, if you can see, this is the world at normal speed. However, when I hold this button, the world slows down, but my character is able to move through it at his normal rate. Okay. What you have to do is you want to launch this, launch your Unreal Engine. I'm using 4.7.6. Okay, we're going to do a new project. I'm going to do the first person. I'm going to put this slow mo tutorial. I have to do it two as the last one failed, unfortunately. Uh, create project. There you go, you can see it there. Okay, so here we are in the exact same template, the first person template. Click play. As you can see, it's the same kind of world. So, we're going to be doing this in blueprints. I should have mentioned that before, so you have to do blueprints. Okay, and we're going to want to go to our first person character blueprint. Okay, this right here is default input. You don't need to mess with this unless you want to change the movement of your character really or this spawns a projectile that does the jump in that's aiming and that is moving with analog sticks on a controller. Okay so we're not gonna bother with that we're gonna come down here we're gonna create our own comment and we're gonna press C in the keyboard flat and we're gonna put slow motion effect. Okay I'm gonna spread that out reason I'm creating the comment first is because when you have all this inside you can then just move it about so it's nice to kind of get the cage going first so then I want to right click on my mouse and you can use any key you want just put it in the just type it after pressing right click and it will come up there okay so to notice here pressed is what happens whilst the button is held down and releases what happens when the button is released when you're not holding it down anymore. Um, most functions will probably want to be done on release but for our case we're going to use pressed as we're going to use it have the effect going whilst the user is holding the button. Okay. So uh, I'm going to start off by creating a very simple one. So we're going to go press right click and put set time dilation and it will come up with this global one and you're going to want to put that into there okay then just control C and control V on that to get another and put one on the pressed okay it's important to note that zero means the time dilation is unaffected and one means it's normal speed okay the float variables mean that you can have a decimal like that. Okay, so as we want it done when we're pressing the button down, we're going to go to this one and I'm going to put in 0.5. Okay, if you click compile here and go to play, you'll notice everything works, and then when I hold down C, the entire world slows down. Okay, so we got the basis of that going. However, that's not exactly what we want. We want our character to move in normal speed through the world. So, we're going to right click. I'm going to put set custom time dilation for our actor. Okay, control C and control V that so it comes down here. As so we're going to want it to return to normal when we let go. So, this float value is the same as this one. Zero means it's unaffected, one means it's normal, and anything else is above. Okay, so I'm just moving that out, sorry. Okay, so most of the time, this custom time dilation of what you want your actor doing can be calculated quite simply uh, with a float divided by float. So you. Sorry. When I get the 1.0. And then you want to divide it by whatever's in there, which in this case would be 2, but we're going to do it anyway. 
So now, when we hold down that button, the whole world's still slow, but our character is unaffected. That can add some nice time effects to your game. Now, that's all well and good, but holding the button is a bit tiresome. So, we're going to spread this out, and we're going to create a way that you only have to press the button. So go over here and click create a new variable on this button and I'm going to call mine boo hold down slow low. Okay, and I'm going to compile that and we get this default value over here and we want to leave that unchecked. Okay, so then we're going to cl right click and get a branch which is, if anyone who's coded before, is just an if statement. Okay, and we're going to get this so just drag it into the viewport and click get. Put that into there. So now what this does is when this is called, when the user presses the C button, it's going to check what this is. And if it's set to true, then it's going to execute whatever's true. If it's going to set to false, it's going to execute whatever is set to false. So we don't need this release button anymore. Actually, just to make it more efficient, I'm going to do it on release. I'm not I'm gonna do it on press, sorry. Okay. So if this is true, then that means this has already been set to true. So we're gonna to want to swap these round and you'll see why in a minute. So I wanna connect these up. Pull up a bit. And then hold this, bring it back into the viewport, and click set. Connect these up, and put it to true. False, sorry. And then when it's false, connect these up. Control C and Control V that, or you can just drag it back into the viewport, and you want to set that to true. And that's because now when we compile it, so it's all ready to do, what it will check is that it will check if this is ticked. If this is true, then as the users pressed it again, they want to set the world back to normal, so that we also set this boolean to false, so that when it comes back around when they press it again, it will check if it's true or false, as it's false. The user wants to slow down the world, so it'll slow down the world and also check this to true, so when the user presses this button again, the world can be set back to normal. So as that's compiled, we'll click play and we'll find this out. So if I press C, you'll see that the world slow down. And when I let go of C, the world speeds up. All while my actor is able to move through the world at normal speeds. Pretty simple. Okay. So there is a simple slow motion effect where the user can go through time whilst it's slowed down. However, there's going to be something to note here. This, whilst it can be calculated like this, it can run into some issues. So at 0.01 I've found, if you divide this by 0.01, compile it, when we activate slow motion, your character speeds up far too much. Okay, not sure why that is, but it happens. So what I've found is when you put it onto one like that, it's a lot of trial and error really, unfortunately. And I found 15 works pretty well. However, that is a mainly sort of very slow motion effect that you probably wouldn't use. Okay, so there you go. One thing I forgot to mention before actually was if you notice when you're in here, when you're slow mo, your gun can fire just as fast, which, whilst might be cool for your efforts, is not exactly that great in my opinion. So, to fix this, go up to the spawn projectile, the ones I said we wouldn't be editing actually, but I forgot we would be editing this one. I want to right click, I want to Type get global time dilation. Okay, and you want to find this montage play bit right here. 
Okay, as you can see, there's the in play rate. Connect the return value to that play rate. Go away. And then compile it. Play it. So that's how fast you can confine normally. And now in slow motion, the gun fires at the same rate. Okay, there you go. Thanks. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, subscribe. Give us a thumbs up and write in the comments what you want me to do next.